Good day, I'm Carlene Brown-Thompson and this is your JIS News for March 11. Government's transformation of the police force has received a boost with the recent opening of a state-of-the-art police station in Falmouth, Trelawney. At the opening ceremony, Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller reiterated government's policy of having a modern, more effective and responsible police force. My administration is pursuing a three-pronged approach to national security and the safety of the Jamaican people. These are institutional improvements targeting organized crime and engendering trust. We have been building the human resource capacity, increasing training, improving skills and the technology available to the force. The $272 million building was constructed by the Urban Development Corporation with money from the Petrocarib Fund. The Ministry of Health is to receive roughly 22 million euros in grant funding to implement key health initiatives in the new fiscal year. Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson made the announcement recently. He said the money would help tackle the problem of non-communicable diseases, which is costing the country about 170 million US dollars annually to treat. If we can arrest the development of these diseases in children, then we can make a significant dent in their prevalence in adulthood. Meanwhile, the country could soon have a national infant and young child feeding policy to address the nutritional needs of Jamaica's children. The Ministry of Health has been taking steps to put forward this policy for some time now. And I'm happy that we are at the stage where we can present it to our stakeholders. Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson says this should help reduce mortality and morbidity in infants and children. That, he says, will bring Jamaica closer to achieving UN Millennium Development Goal No. 4, which calls for a two-thirds reduction in the under-5 mortality rate by the year 2015. About 600 new vending spaces are to be created within the market district of downtown Kingston. Kingston's Mayor Angela Brown-Burke made the announcement while speaking on JIS's Issues and Answers program on the weekend. She said these vending spaces would be established during this year. We should be doing some work on the Jubilee market. We have just completed with USAID and Digicel and UDC the redemption market. So once you get the redemption market back in place, then we have space for 160 vendors. Mayor Brown Burke also indicated that more vending spaces would be created for sellers along the corridors of the business district. Effective April 1, three environmental agencies will be merged to create a single environmental conservation body. The agencies are the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica, the Forest Conservation Fund and the Jamaica Protected Areas Trust. Environment Minister Robert Pickerskill says the conservation body will however maintain the name the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica, EFJ. The objective of that exercise is to streamline the governance of the funds, prolong the life of the EFJ and reduce the need for competition for additional funds. Minister Pickersgill was speaking at the 19th Annual General Meeting of the EFJ. And finally, Industry Minister Anthony Hilton has called on master builders to position themselves to fully utilize the tremendous potential and advantages to come from the business process outsourcing BPO sector. BPO is projected as one of the industries that will greatly assist the country's economy. And Minister Hilton says construction is a big part of that. As the ICT and business process outsourcing, outsourcing sector continues its rapid growth, we'll be looking to the Factories Corporation of Jamaica and the private sector to meet a significant portion of the demand for space to drive these industries. The construction, con construction industry will have an integral role in all of this. Minister Hilton's remarks came at the recent 60th anniversary awards for the Incorporated Master Builders Association of Jamaica. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Carlene Brown Thompson. Thanks for watching.